Greetings, this is Dennis Daniels, and this is a repurposing of Audacious. I'm running Audacious 1.34, and I've been using the marker tool for you start playing. Uh, actually, you start playing here. Stop. Let's click here and start playing. And I hit Control M, I can start typing. Spacebar. Now what I could do is then stretch this marker out and it's hidden but you can see the marker is right here at roughly one minute so I'm going to save the project and then file and you'll see I've got more text here. I'm going to export the labels and I'm going to call it 2 because I've been playing with this for a while. Click save <clears throat> and when I open it, file open two labels. There it is. <clears throat> Here's the text. Here's the time marker. There's this one minute mark right there. Now look at this and compare that to a standard SRT file right here. This one's in Russian, but you miss it's only missing the number and it's missing the hyphens and you can see that the text is underneath the numbers so these numbers all, or these words would have to appear down here in order for it to get in order for it to work now if we take a look at the sub file I'll do a search for a sub I know I got one uh, dot sub I'll do all the searches right there and I know I have a sub. Let me just find it. Yeah, right here. So there's the sub folder. Let's open. Oh, we'll just go straight to it. I know where it is. Go back up. And right there. And here's the English subs. I think it might actually be this one. There's the sub right there. And there's English subs right here. Make it easier open it up English sub uh, open with notepad just to simplify click OK uh, I want to select no no I don't want that uh, where'd my sub file go right there okay right click open with Select file from the list, use notepad when it loads. Right there. Use notepad to open it. Click OK. Uh, opening Russian forms or Russian documents can be quite problematic. Now look at the sub form. Um, and here's the SRT form. And this is the uh, export from Audacious. Now, it's very it's very tempting to say the sub. Remember, this is the sub, and it looks like the Audacious could easily be converted. So, what I'm saying here is for the Audacious people, think about using Audacious as a subtitle as a subtitling tool because it's already built in, and uh, it would, imp I think, give more flexibility and power uh, to the subtitling tools because, frankly, the subtitling tools that are out there are terrible, um, in my experience. And this looks like it might have some traction. Uh, in fact, you know what? It's so easy. Let's see how. Well, see, I don't know what these numbers are. Um, because it's a different it's a different number. So looking at this, this looks a lot more like this in terms of accuracy. <clears throat> so if I zeroed that out, I mean I could manually go through and create the SRT from the audacious content. But again, if Audacity allowed uh, for an option as a, uh, in terms of creating the labels, export labels and have the label option, export sub, export SRT, 
export, etc. That could be very interesting. Um, just a thought. I spend a lot of time looking at subtitles and playing with audio files, and the audacious tools are quite good. Um, all I'm asking, all I'm asking. I know I'm asking a lot, but to be able to export the uh, hmm, I can't create my own. Can't. Oh, Og Vorbis, nice. Um, I'd like to be able to export my text again as SRT or .sub files. Thanks and happy computing.